Hi there, I'm Tom from Danfoss Climate Solutions. Now watch this video if you wish a correct valve bracing and a safe valve installation without future risk of refrigerant leakage. In this video we will show you how to use correct bracing tool and filler material, how to use correct protection gas and correct flow direction of this gas, how to brace the valve and piping correctly together, and how to cool the valve correctly during bracing and ensure that max allowable valve body temperature is not exceeded. Here you see the suitable bracing tool to use and the suitable bracing filler material. We recommend to use a copper wire with minimum 5% silver content as bracing filler material. So let's get started with the bracing. The first important step is the protection gas. So we need to connect nitrogen protection gas to the valve connection on the opposite side of where you're going to brace the valve to the piping, as seen here. Now this is very important, because this flow direction ensures that the gas heated up during bracing flows away from the valve body and not into the valve body, which in such case might damage the internal valve parts. Another very important step is water cooling of the valve during bracing. This is done by wrapping a wetted cloth around the valve body, as seen here, and then wet it with sufficient cold water to keep the valve body cooled down during bracing. Now, and why is this so important? Well, to ensure that the internal valve parts are not heat damaged by the bracing heat. We are now ready to brace the valve together with the copper piping. Please note that you can install the valve in the direction specified here. In this video we brace the valve together with piping where the valve is in horizontal position, as seen here. The first step is to carefully preheat the piping sufficiently to ensure that the bracing filler material being used will melt correctly and make a tight connection. Then carefully add the bracing filler material to the connection between valve and piping while still heating the connection, as seen here. And complete the bracing of the full circumference of the connection between valve and piping, as seen here in the following sequences. As mentioned earlier, ensure that the max allowable valve body temperature is not exceeded during bracing, as specified here. This done by wetting the cloth with cold water as needed, as seen here. Now a very good tip here, and a smart way to watch for the max allowable temperature, is to listen for possible sizzling of the wetted cloth. Such sizzling indicates that the water in the cloth is boiling, which is equal to 100 degrees centigrade, which again is close to the temperature limit of 110 degrees centigrade, as specified here. Another way is to measure and watch the temperature by means of a temperature gauge, as seen here. Because once the bracing is completed, ensure to carefully cool down the valve and piping with cold water. Ok, we are now ready to repeat the whole bracing procedure for the second connection between valve and piping, as seen shortly in the following sequences. Again, watch out, because also for this second bracing it is very important to pay special attention to correct protection gas flow direction, correct cooling of the valve during bracing, correct bracing of the valve and piping connection, and correct cooling of the hot valve and piping after the bracing. So to summarize the lessons learned from this video, you now know how to use correct bracing tool and filler material, 
how to use correct protection gas and correct flow direction of this gas, how to brace the valve and piping correctly together, and how to cool the valve correctly during bracing and ensure that max allowable valve body temperature is not exceeded. All this ensuring that you have a safe installation without future risk of refrigerant leakage. Have a look at the other Danfoss online videos where I talk about valves. Thanks for watching.